Greetings gamers, my name is Anto and uh, I've got a really quick one for you today. I recently discovered a new add-on for the Foundry Virtual Tabletop that is saving me so much time when it comes to my session prep. So I've talked before about one of the things that I really like to do. I like to give every NPC and every encounter a unique token for the players to interact with. So if they get ambushed by four bandits, I like to use four different tokens for that. And previously I've been making most of my tokens myself using Affinity Designer, but Portrait Works, who makes the Portrait Workshop, which is an app for making character portraits on mobile devices, recently launched a free Foundry integration. And I've been playing around with that this week and it's already saving me so much time. So we jump over to the Portrait Works site here. You can see that it's got some information about the basic Foundry module, how you access it, how you load it into Foundry and kind of the, the basic information about it. You get over a thousand different character portraits that you can use in Foundry for free. So here we are in Foundry. You can see I've got a map here. I got this from the Incarnate Explore page and we've got a bandit here. And if I want to change the token for that bandit, what I would usually do is I'd right click it, click on the little cog icon, go to the appearance and change what image that is pulling from. But with the Portrait Works module, you just double click on the creature in question. And then up top of the little pop out here, there's a Portrait Works button. Hit that and you have your generator. So you've got different options, male and female, several different racial options, and then a different role. So the different classes. This is a bandit. So let's say it's going to be a half orc fighter. So then we hit save. It's going to ask us to confirm whether we want it to be the profile image and the token or just one or the other. And then we hit save and choose where we want to place it. I'm going to place this in my NPC folder and then it will update that. So we've got the portrait of the bandit. We close that down and our token has not updated. There we go. It's just because I hadn't dragged it out. So when you do this, put them into your actors directory and do it from there. And then you'll make sure that you'll actually update it onto the map itself. But if I wanted to go ahead and change this, I can double click on that and we can change it, let's say to a female gnome rogue. And we'll go ahead and do the same. Hit save on that. Choose our directory, hit save, and then it will update and we can drag our bandit in and we've got another bandit. This is a really quick and easy way to get a lot of variety into the tokens you're using, especially for things like bandits and soldiers, any of those tokens that aren't getting pulled automatically from D&D Beyond. I'll leave a link to everything that you need in the description below. And if you wanna check out how I integrate D&D Beyond with Foundry, hit this video right here. But until next time, happy gaming.